Christine O'Donnell landed on the national stage just a month ago when she upset the political order in Delaware and won the Republican Senate primary. She campaigned as an outsider, a Tea Party favorite, raising lots of money. But on the very night of her victory, some in her own party concluded that Delaware was no longer a guaranteed win for Republicans. And that meant finding another state to win if they want to control the Senate, according to the analysts. And even though O'Donnell is now behind in the polls, Democrats aren't taking any chances. Vice President Biden. Vice President Biden brought the president to his home state of Delaware to raise money for Democratic Senate candidate Chris Coons. Thank you very much. And although I think Chris has so far run an extraordinary race, I don't want anybody here taking this for granted. This is a tough political environment. Biden held the seat for 36 years. There's a great, great deal at stake. And Coons told me it's a must-keep for Democrats if they want to maintain control of the Senate. Well, I don't think there's a scenario where the Republicans take control of the United States Senate uh, if I'm successful in this Senate seat. And I've been told that that's a critical strategic concern for folks who are looking at this race from outside. His opponent, Christine O'Donnell's surprising Republican primary victory over nine-term Congressman Mike Castle, has made her an international media magnet. That and her controversial past. I dabbled into witchcraft, I never joined a coven. And her ads to dispel it. I'm not a witch. Backed by Sarah Palin, O'Donnell is a Tea Party favorite, but state and national Republicans are keeping their distance. The state party isn't helping us, and we're, we're asking the National Republican Senatorial to help us. We've got the Democratic Senatorial <laughs> Committee coming after me. Uh, we're hoping that the National Republican Senatorial Committee will help us. But it's two and a half weeks left, and they're not. Today, Chris Coons is well ahead, where he would likely have been trailing had he been facing Mike Castle. Who would have been a stronger and more difficult opponent? Oh, Congressman Castle, absolutely. He's got experience. He's got years of insight. He was a two-term governor, and he's got the, the experience that comes from knowing how to make hard decisions and then their consequences. So you're glad that it's O'Donnell who won the primary? I'm not sure it's good for Delaware or good for Delaware's voters. For you, for your campaign? Obviously, I went from being significantly down to significantly up in the polls, so just from an outside-in view, um, it's a positive in terms of my chances in the election. But I don't think it's been positive for Delaware. There's been a huge amount of attention paid to things that aren't directly connected to what matters to Delaware. And Tom Ross, chairman of the state Republican Party, was clearly agitated when he joined me on this week, just days after O'Donnell won the primary. You are not a happy man today. I'm not a happy man. Um, we have worked very diligently in a very difficult environment. I'm a Republican chairman in the Northeast. My state is uh, vastly Democratic. Most people uh, identify themselves as a moderate. We had a candidate that was very close to becoming the next United States Senator from Delaware, and essentially people on our own team clipped him right as he is about to go in the goal line. Ross told me O'Donnell's support comes from Tea Party backers across the country. You know, we're not opposed to Tea Party val values. What we're opposed to is people coming in from out of state and dumping hundreds of thousands of dollars on candidates that we have not endorsed. O'Donnell may be trailing coons in the polls, but she's raised three times more money than he has, $3.8 million in just over a month. We want to make sure Chris has the money to continue to, to finish out this campaign. And as the vice president told Nightline's Terry Moran, that got their attention. Look. Uh, Christine ran against me. I'm the only guy in America at the same time Rana Grant had uh, bo two opponents, Christine O'Donnell and Sarah Palin, because I was on the ticket in Delaware as a senator and as vice president. And uh, I took them both very seriously. We take Christine O'Donnell seriously. One of the reasons is Christine O'Donnell has been able to raise a great deal of money. There's an awful lot of negative ads she's been able to put up. We haven't yet uh, taken out a negative ad. Except perhaps this one. Hide your will. Hide your lights, because he's taxing everything out here. Chris Coons is the tax man. If he's elected, Chris Coons told me tax policy will be a top priority. I would vote to extend the overwhelming majority of the Bush tax cuts. There's a trillion dollars in private capital sitting on the sidelines right now in the American economy. Mm -hmm. All that money is sitting there waiting for clear signals about health care costs, 
about where we're going in tax policy and what we're going to do to restart this economy. We have to get these things solved. There's this scare tactic coming from the Democrats saying that these tax cuts for the rich are these billionaires who are trying to find places to dock their yachts. That's not it at all. It's the dry cleaner down the street. It's the pizza shop owner down the street. It's the, the hardware store owner. She's run for the, for the United States Senate three times in five years. Yeah. That's a lot of persistence. And what do you think it's all about? I think my grandmother would have said she has a lot of moxie. It's a good thing? I'm not sure why she's running, but that's up, for, that's up to her to explain. O'Donnell's support comes mostly from southern Delaware. My husband and I feel that Christine O'Donnell is not part of the good old boy network, and um, we think she'll bring some fresh ideas and have the courage to stand up for her convictions and to represent the people. Most voters are in the northern part of the state, at the Golden Dove Diner, we spoke to Republican and Tea Party supporter Linda Conway. But she's casting her vote elsewhere. I feel that the girl has no experience, and for some reason I just have that she's almost like a front for someone. And I just don't feel this young lady has the control and the smarts to get us out of this jam that we're in at this time. And I feel Coons, with his experience, does. We then joined these men, whose company rents linens and uniforms. Like many people across the country, Kenneth Ritoli told us that he's frustrated and worried about the future. Do you feel that your children will have it better than your generation? The American dream? I don't, I don't know. I really, and I hate to say that, I really don't know. But all of them told me they see a glimmer of hope after the darkest days of the recession. Have you had to lay people off? Um, we did lay off a few people, but uh, since then we have started rehiring and uh, things are looking up in our business and getting better.